we have had a problem again with every. Surprisingly, in 2023, I didn't have much bad to say about every. Um, apart from a couple of stolen parcels around Christmas time or lost parcels, um, to be expected, it is a busy time. They get temp workers in, etc., etc. Every was great last year, but they've started with a bad. With a ba- they've had a bad start. It's a bad note to start on. I sold a Disney 100 Topps Chrome card. Um, it was a Lilo and Stitch costume card. If you don't know, collectible trading card. And it sold for £120. And I ship it as I normally would. Cardboard, envelope, in the box. Bosh, eBay box. Nice and safe. Damaged. Damaged by every. So I'm awaiting a response from every about that. I didn't cover it. I'd never really cover anything um, because it ends up you end up paying more covering stuff than what you actually claim back. Um, in my opinion, anyway, some people cover everything. I do not. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on that. But it is a real, real busy Friday. We've got a lot to do. If you're new to the channel, I am John Luke. I'm an eBay reseller. I sell on whatnot. I make YouTube videos and we have fun. We sell all kinds of gizmos, clothes, games, collectibles, and toys. But yeah, we're just there's a lot of moving parts recently. We've just been to Poland earlier this week, so I've got a few orders to pick and pack. Maria's kept the ship afloat, the ship afloat, and um, yeah, the business has still been running. But um, yeah, we've just got a lot on. We've got a lot to do, so join me. So I've taken you out of there. I've got you in my hand. Got some cool new stock in stock. If that makes sense. Got some Jaws Funko Pops. Very very cool. We have got boxes everywhere. It's mental. More stock. From where dead stock, some stuff for myself, some stuff to flip, some real nice ACG pieces in there. Plenty of games new in stock, stuff that I left in Manchester we've brought home with us. Um, we went to the Q4 after party, so I managed to go home and get some cool bits to bring back with us. We got some cool new monkey puppets from the charity shop the other day. These are by the puppet company, Masterpieces style. They're really, really cool. They remind me of, they remind me of Jungle Run, which is the best show on TV, isn't it? If you watch Jungle Run... Comment down below. We have ordered some beauty sachets and other little bits and pieces which will accommodate little bits of giveaways on whatnot and include some freebies for all of our whatnot customers. The good stuff for you guys. This stuff here has all come from Manchester as well. So this is stuff which was back in the garage, in the shed should I say, which wasn't earning us any money. Lots and lots of random bits and pieces. Blue roll, the uh, blue roll. What would you call them? Dispensers. We've got dog stairs, golf bags, all kinds of stuff that we brought back with us. We've got a charity shop bag here from yesterday. We've got a load of bits and pieces, which will be going on whatnot. Some on eBay. Some men's sea salt. Was it Martimer? Did they call it Martime Workwear? Yeah, really nice piece. Loads of bits and pieces in there, which is nice. Good to be back in the charity shops after being away. This one we left in Manchester, which was a official post office scale. Which you would have weighed your parcels on way back when. They actually sell for good money, so that's why I kept hold of it. Yes, the Mega Drives are still sat there, and I've not cleaned them, and I've not tested them. I promise. I promise next week we will do them. Obviously, we was in Poland last week, or earlier this week, for Charlotte's birthday, so that was good. Um, it was good to get away, but it is tiring. Like, a city break is not a break, is it? It's not. Maria was keeping the ship afloat. She was shipping all the orders off, which was great. We sold some really nice pieces. All but one of the Carhartt jackets are sold. Someone bought nine of them from America. I actually thought we only had nine, so he bought nine for about 495 quid. Great, great profit in those. Um, yeah, we've got really good profit in those. Really happy with that. That's the last one, which I've re-photographed, and we're going to get that listed. Again, that should be like 70, 80 quid, uh, but we're hundreds and hundreds in profit with the Carhartt jackets, which we got from Fleek. But apart from that, things are pretty similar. Obviously, Charlotte has joined forces with me on eBay. So this is some of her eBay stock, which we need to get on my eBay. But apart from that, we are cooking on gas. Still awaiting the car boots for this. But the van got us up to Manchester. The van got us back from Manchester to Birmingham to fly to Poland. And then we got home in the van. The van has worked a treat so far. If you was wondering, the van is... I'm very happy with the van. So I've not, still not got a name yet. I did like um, a few of your suggestions in the last video. We had Stocky. We had um, Vanda. So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm still going to teat with a few names yet. If you've got any names, let me know down below. 
I do want to just say a massive thank you to Jess Moldy Cal, who did set up the Q4 after party. Everyone that went loved it. It was amazing. It was great. It was such a nice night just to let your hair down and meet people. There was a few guys that, that um, I met, which are subscribers, which weren't on like on in the Instagram community in particular. It was great to meet you all. And um, hopefully this time next year, we'll be doing it all over again. Hopefully the same venue is just perfect. So we'll do we'll do it even bigger and better next year. Uh, but yeah, big shout out to Jess. She is ace and she uh, she made it a great night. So yeah, big love to everyone I met. Can't name you all. Everyone was amazing. And um, yeah, we'll do it again. But enough waffling. I have got a few orders that I need to pick. Let me just um, go on my order. I'm not logged in. Yeah. Right, while I log in, I thought I'd put you back into the, what do you call it? Phone holder. LED light, TikTok light, whatever you want to call it. The phone, it's not loading this. So let me sign in. I thought I'd just pop you there. I just wanted to say a massive shout out. I keep doing shout outs, but shout out to Whatnot, of course, for being great. Really well loved with us. We really get on with them, the, the team there. Um, they have kindly invited us to join them at the Resale Summit in March. So if you go into the summit, I will meet you there. It's exciting. I think there's some tickets still available. So get your tickets and it should be a good day. I'm looking forward to meeting everyone again and obviously people that weren't at the Q4 after party meeting them guys as well. But yeah, big shout out to Whatnot for inviting us and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting everyone on the team. Why did I say that? Team. Team. Right, we're in the eBay now. So I'll flip you around and we'll see what we need to pack. So we've not had a load of high value stuff listed recently. Obviously we've been away. We did schedule while we was away, but just small little bits and pieces. So... We've got a GameCube game, a Laura Ashley roll, a City Victory pin, a Toast Peplum blouse, a vinyl record, and a Kaiser Chiefs football shirt. So that shouldn't take me too long, which I'm happy about. Let's go to all of our sales and see what sold them was in Poland. Coronation Street Gnome for $39.99. Awesome. Fast and Furious box set. Awesome. Some more little bits and pieces of clothes, some children's books, some more children's books. ASOS boots, paint, coats and mugs. And Harris things have been going well again. We sold loads of them. Um, really, really happy with that. Touch of Frost box set. Victory pin box. The pr uh, the printer catches have been going well as well. We sold the program for £300. It's a sad day. So the program itself is from City versus QPR, Manchester City. Let me just station you up a little. Manchester City versus Queen's Park Rangers on May the 13th. Something like that. In 2012. It was the Aguero goal. And every time I see City programmes in the charity shop, I always flick through for this particular programme. The programme on its own, you get like 50 quid. But I bought it, and then I managed to meet Aguero at the shirt unveiling, 10th anniversary of the day. And I got him to sign it. And I, he signed, I sold the signed shirt for a grand, didn't I? Um, and people were saying, why would you sell it? Why would you sell it? We saved him for a house. Um, so that, you know what I mean? It's it's just needs must at the moment. One day I can buy that shirt back, maybe. Um, maybe I'll meet him again. Maybe we'll get it signed again. Who knows? Who knows what the world will do to us? But um, yeah, someone from America really wanted the programme. And we was willing to pay £300 for it. So I paid 50p for the actual program from the charity shop i forgot to tell you that in middleton ymca and then met him had it signed i've had it in my collection for a couple of years year or so while it was on on ebay and someone got it so fair play big city fan in america big love to you it is on the way now i got it special delivery to the gsp i think let me just check the tracking it should be there now with a bit of luck yikes let's have a look let's have a look Oh, no, it's not. It's on the way still. It's on the way. Oh, no, it has. Yep, customs. It's in customs. Yeah. So that's eBay's problem now. Woohoo! Happy days. If you don't use GSP, definitely worth using it. But apart from that, we sold a real nice coat, long, tall Sally coat for 100 quid when we was at the after party. That was a little bit of a buzz. Um, there's the sale on the car hearts. One second. There is your car hat sale for 495, which was nice. We, obviously, we got 20 jackets for like 400 quid. We sold. 10 of them are like 60 quid a piece. Some were on whatnot for like 55, some went for about 80, and then we sold nine of them for 495. There is the long tall Sally coat. Again, 100 quid. I paid eight quid for that in Middleton. That was brand new with the tags from British Heart Foundation. Another one of those Moo Mesa 
Happy Meal toys sold for £70, which is amazing. But apart from that, some real, real nice sales. I really want to keep this mic figure, but uh, it sold. I was upset when it sold, to be honest. And this is the one in question which has been damaged by every. So, fingers crossed, every can locate it and make it better again. Or I'm going to lose money and I'm going to have to refund him, unfortunately. But that is just part and parcel of being an eBay seller. Things are going to go missing. Things are going to get damaged. You're going to get returns. You're going to have annoying customers. You're going to have customers that abuse you. It's all part of the fun and games, unfortunately. Or fortunately, however you want to look at it. And it's just part of the job. So, yeah, we all make mistakes um, in terms of eBay. So we might sell something, it's got a stain on, we didn't realise. You know what I mean? There's always something like that. And sometimes every or Royal Mail... To be fair, Royal Mail lost loads of parcels for me last year. So it's like one of them things where it's just going to happen. And if you don't cover everything, even if you do cover stuff, like, when do they even pay you out? Do you know what I mean? Or how, how many hoops do you have to jump through to get paid out? Do you know what I mean? It's hard work. So... We're just going to have to swallow that one and get on with it. Apologies about the voice. I'm a little bit dry. I'm a little bit inside. But, um, yeah, we have got one week next week, seven, about ten days, and then we're away properly. You already know we're going away on a cruise. But after that, in March, we are bang at it. Daily vlogs are coming back. It's going to be sick. We have got a potential unit move, which is super exciting. Um, I just had a tour around it today. It's big. It's big in it's big, but it's big in terms of this is a, the next move we need to make in terms of not only going the eBay business, but having a proper studio for whatnot, for YouTube, for building a brand as well. We, we it's, it's just going to be epic. It's going to be epic. This is great. And we are so grateful to be able to get in here. But it's one of them where we don't have access on the weekends or the um you know after hours five o'clock nine till five seven till five or whatever we have access and you know they could just turn around and say we don't want to rent this out anymore because it's kind of part of a different building whereas this new unit will be itself it's his own unit they'll have our own address and it's epic i can't wait to show you guys fingers crossed it all goes through if it does it just feels like a natural progression we get the van well we go that registered we get the van we get the unit. Do you know what I mean? It's like the first few months of the, the year. And then we can just absolutely smash out not only the content, but the eBay, Amazon. Yeah, not too in, into the Amazon. But, uh, you know, whatnot. And all of the, all the above, really. We're excited, super excited to get going with, with everything, man. I, it's Cat 22. Obviously, I want to go on this cruise. But also, I just want to be on my grind and graft and get S done. Do you know what I mean? I want to get it done. But... It's all working out okay. It's all working out okay. I hope you're enjoying the videos. I know they've been few and far between. From what you're normally used to, there's still a lot of videos, but just from what you're used to, daily stuff. It is, um, it's one of them where I'll, I'll just wait till we're back and then we're going to absolutely kill it for you guys. The car boots will be back. The van's going to be in action. We'll fill it up every week. It's going to be sick. I hope you guys are getting motivated like me um, because this is the point of the videos. I want to motivate you guys. I want you to get... Get yourself up, get yourself out there. If you're working, I want you to be working and try and hustle on the side. Obviously, register a bus register as a business, though, you know. Um, side hustle is no more, you know what I mean? I'm just waffling now. And you, you know you know, I always say that. I always say I'm waffling now. But it's good waffle. I hope you enjoy the waffle. Hope you got a cup of tea. Hope you're enjoying yourself. And we'll kick on with the video. I definitely need a drink of that. Apart from everything that's going on, though, the unit move, eBay, whatnot, all the videos, all that good stuff. We've got some secret stuff in the works as well. So there's plenty coming um, come March, April, May. And so I'm, I'm super, super excited to get going with this stuff. Um, and I hate it when creators say that. We've got stuff coming, you know, super cool stuff. And they don't say anything. I've just done that. But trust me, there's big things coming. And I can't wait to share them with you guys. So I've just logged in to Zik Analytics on my laptop. Um, which, you know, I am an eBay geek. Uh, like many of you guys, and I do all kinds of research on here, product research, title builders, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I know you guys are enjoying it as well, which is cool. Let me know if you have been as well. A few people have been messaging saying they've been enjoying it. Um, so yeah, let me know. But I just wanted to touch on a super simple feature on here, but it's super effective as well. Like, I absolutely love it. So this is the calendar down here, and it just gives you an idea of what's going on in the world. So... Valentine's Day is a real obvious one. It's an obvious one, the 14th of February. But it gives you an idea of what 
you want to be buying or you, you know it gives you an idea of right valentine's in 12 days how can i capitalize on that what do i need to be buying so any keywords love bracelet led rose light flower rose teddy bear couple necklace so and you can go over to you know your product research and you can start researching on alibaba aliexpress obviously it's a bit too late now 12 days till valentine's if you've not got your missus something make sure you don't do an alibaba and aliexpress make sure you get a nice bunch of flowers but for your business, you could be doing something like this. But not an obvious one. Um, let's do a not obvious one. So in March, you've got, what's this? Book day is in 34 days. So for me, I sell so many children's books. So I want to be making sure that I'm getting all of these books listed. Not only learning books, but all types of books. And also, World Book Day is for the kids when they dress up. So any costumes you have in stock, Get them listed. It's almost like a second Halloween. Like this time a few years ago, I absolutely cleaned up on World Book Day, selling Newt Scaramander and Kylo Ren costumes that I got from Home Bargains. So yeah, if you've got stuff stored away, costumes, and if you look in the calendar ahead of time, you'll think, right, I need to order some children's costumes in bulk. And then when it comes to World Book Day and the weeks leading up to it, you can make a killing. But I actually didn't know World Book Day was the 7th of March until I just looked at this calendar. So you know, you can see how it works. You look on the calendar, you write, think, right, I need to get products for the 7th of March. So at the start of February, if you've got loads of costumes in stock, you'll make a killing. 35 days until International Women's Day. So then you've got ideas of what you can sell on Women's Day. You've got Mother's Day, which is handy if you just don't know where Mother's Day is, because I actually don't. Um, St. Patrick's Day, you've got Easter. So all kinds of stuff, like Easter napkins, Easter bunny, stuff that you can get in stock leading up to these type of type of events. A big one being we're saving up loads and loads of Christmas stock for the Christmas period. It seems obvious, but there's so many different events during the year that you can capitalize on. Using a little calendar like this makes your life a lot easier. And if you do want to give Zik Analytics a go, there's literally a trial down below in the description. It costs you $1. Um, so yeah, try, see if you like it, give it a go. And I do just want to say that is like one of a million things it does on there. That is a one small, tiny, tiny feature. So when I traded in my Ford Fiesta, when I got the van, I went home to Manchester and found that in my shed. So that is the, well, I don't, I don't is it a shelf for the boot? Is that what they, call, what they call that? I'm not sure. I never used to use this because I used my car as a van, pretty much. I always had the seats down. This was just never, it always caused more problems than what it was, like what it was good for. But you can literally sell these for good money. Whatever car you have, if you don't use it, shift it, sell it. And if you've got, you know, these knocking about from old cars. Get them listed. You can get good money for these. Bosh, there you go. Ford Fiesta. Boots, look. Pre-owned, £89. £47. £40. Uh, you got the little brackets that sell for £6. It's mental. £49. Let's try um, a different car. Let's put boot shelf in. And then let's try and just go high to low and see, like, what car actually has the highest boot shelf. Right, these are some mad listings. Look, genuine Aston Martin V12 Vantage carbon fiber parcel shelf. Two and a half grand. Two and a half grand. Uh, mini front parcel shelf, load cover. £1,100. Uh, mini rear parcel. Why the, why the mini ones that expensive? What the hell? What the hell? Are they anomaly? Maybe fake listings, who knows? But there's a lot of stuff here. Look, Ford Sierra. Uh, you've got Range Rover Vogue, Jaguars. You've got. Porsches, obviously the expensive cars have the more expensive parcel shells. It works. But if you're on the car boot, right, this summer, and you see a parcel shelf, you remember this, and you'll flipping buy it, won't you? Mercedes E-Class 265 for an estate parcel shelf. Mental, mental. And that reminds me of when I got the Aston Martin battery charger for my car, it was 20 quid, that's off like 200 quid. Car stuff sells well. And um, you don't have to tell Hanley, she sells car parts. But I'm sure Hanley, I sold a couple of these in our life. So let me just move you a little bit there. There we go. So I wanted to show you a few of the bits and pieces that I got from the charity shop the other day. So they cost me 30 quid for a lot. I got the two monkeys, sea salt. We got this Woolovers polo, which is brand new with the tags. A lot of this could be sold on eBay. A lot of it ends up on whatnot just because we want to turn it over rapid, rapid, rapid. Got this little flappers dress. These sell fantastic on eBay. This is by... Foresty, never heard of it, might be rubbish, but again, flappers dresses are very similar style ones, sell really well. Um, so that'll go on eBay. We got loads of these ties by Tootle, 
made in England. There's about 10 of them. Loads and loads of different ones. Again, might be decent on eBay, but we normally sell tyres quite well and whatnot as well. If we can get five, six quid a tyre and whatnot, we're very happy with that. Caribbean Joe shirt, I just thought that was pretty unique, pretty cool. And we're going to the Caribbean next week, or the week after, so it was um, the perfect time for that one. Again, not searched up Caribbean Joe. Sometimes you can get shirts like this that sell for a lot of money. Probably go and whatnot. More ties. We got a Jack Wolfskin shirt. Nice little netted one, fishing one. Go and whatnot. Um, so have a look. What's this? This is like a cape. Like an unbranded cape. I just thought it was cute. Thought it was cute. And it go and whatnot. If we can get pieces for whatnot, which we've been buying a lot of you guys as well. If we can get pieces for like two, three quid a piece and sell them on whatnot for eight, nine quid a piece, and then you guys can sell them on eBay off us for like 20 odd quid a piece, it's a nice little way of life. Circular economy and all that. Um, we're making money, you're making money, that's the main thing. And if you want to join us on whatnot, I mention it every time. There's a link down below. Um, loads of people joined from the last video. You get a free £10 to spend. This one's a Jack Murphy coat, size 14. Again, if I can get 12 quid on whatnot for that, Someone else can flip it for 30. Boom, I'm happy with that. We're just getting in the stock quick enough where we can afford to do that, which is great. Little, little uh, voice break. This one was cool. Little Anne-Marie. New look. Little jacquard. Dress thingy, me, Bob. Thought it was cool. We got one more of those sea salt workwear shirts. Again, very nice. Very well made. And finally, a little fat face t-shirt. Brand new. With the taggies. So yeah, there's a link down below. Get yourself a free £10 to spend. And you can sell on there as well. There's a selling invite link down below as well. So get, get selling on there, man. It's cool. It's a real good vibe on there. There's a lot of great people on there. It's a growing platform. What not in America is worth like $3 billion. Which is mental. It's mental. Um, it's a real growing community. Don't you know? It's one of them where don't get left behind. But only you know, only do it if you want to do it as well. Like, you don't have to sell on there. But it is a great place to buy and meet people as well. I'm a little bit low on the camera now. I'm going at 100 miles an hour today, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, I've got to pack today's orders, so I'm going to get them done. I'm going to get them done. Them done. And then I'm going to pop in that charity shop again and see if we can get some Friday bangers for our whatnot show tomorrow, um, which is at 5 o'clock on Saturday. Um, if you're not already on there, this video should be out before then. Fingers crossed. Sam, hopefully you've edited it in time. I've not told you that this video has even been made yet. But uh, yeah, join us, 5 o'clock. We're going to give away loads and loads of stuff. We've been giving away gift cards all week, um, every week. So what I'm going to do tomorrow is, secret for you guys, I'm going to do two £50 gift cards in tomorrow's giveaway. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell Charlotte though, okay? Not only have we been doing um, clothes on there as well, the couch is like proper squished up here. Let me walk around. We've been doing, we did a daytime show uh, before we went away. We did a bit of everything. We did a bit of everything. Um, but I'm just trying to get it here. There is some. Where's it gone? Here it is. <laughs> Loads of Lego movies from different series. So that is. I think we did some Batman ones as well. And Marvel of Marvel Super. These are all official Lego. One pound on whatnot. Super, super fun. And I'm going to do an exclusive Lego-only show uh, in the next week. So stay tuned for that. I've got loads and loads of Lego bits and pieces in there. Loads of figures and sets. See, I've been it. There you go. You can see in there a little bit. A little sneaky peeky. That is all going to go on whatnot this week sometime. So yeah, get on the account. Get on the shows. Bookmark them. And we'll see there. There's going to be some cool giveaways. We've given away loads of minifigures last time. And this, I've lost the thing on this. Does, do I sound that loud? Ah, I'm not sure. I'm not going to shoot it again. So, has anyone, did anyone see it pop off? Did it pop off somewhere? No. Right, that one's out of action for a minute. We're back on the second one. We're going to have to find that in a little bit. The muffle. Did it fall off somewhere? Who knows? Anyway, yeah. Join us for that Lego stream. It is going to be super sick. Get yourself a bargain. Get yourself a flipping bargain, man. I'm absolutely loving it on there. Buying and selling. As you can see, this is all stuff I bought on there. It's dangerous. It's a dangerous game. So, I've got to pack them six orders on eBay. I've also got to get stuff ready for tomorrow's whatnot show. So, that is my job for the day. I'm going to photograph some of these Jaws Pops. 
some of these games down here, just so I've got a little bit to trickle on eBay over the weekend. Whew, so I'm going to love you, I'm going to leave you. If you did enjoy this video, I know I'm all over the shop, but I like being all over the shop. A lot of big things coming, as I said. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe down below if you are new. There's loads and loads of links in the description. Get yourself involved. There's loads, loads and loads of stuff. Save yourself from cash, top cash back, all that good stuff. I think top cash back last year did 300 quid. Um, and that's 300 pound that I got just from shopping how I normally shop. So yeah, get yourself joined up to that. All kinds of stuff. Everything, everyone always asks me about lights and stuff that I use my business. Everything's linked down below. So yeah, I'll see you. I'm getting the light. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, a good few videos out. Before we go away and during when we're away, I'm going to get some film for you guys. So any content suggestions you do have, leave a comment down below and we'll try and make them before we go away. Big love, peace, and I'll see you very soon.